It's the newest effort to combat the perplexing problem of employees who don't use up their vacation days, as well as a way of diversifying benefits, a useful hiring and retention tool in a tight labor market. It's facilitated through Vacation Fund, a new Toronto-based company that helps employers in Canada and the United States expand their benefit offerings by matching contributions made to employee travel savings, deducted from each paycheck. CEO Erica Pearson co-founded Vacation Fund in 2017, initially envisioning the service as a consumer product that simply automated the vacation savings process. But while pitching the service to tech companies, Pearson started hearing about the dual problems of hiring staff, as well as getting them to use their vacation time. She was also hearing about forward-thinking companies, mostly in the U.S., that had started to offer paid paid vacation. Notably, the Chicago-based Basecamp, which makes project management software, pays employees, oh, 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 us a year in a use-it-or-lose-it travel fund. These companies talk about how it's the best retention strategy ever because they're paying their employees to disconnect and go somewhere new every year, said Pearson. Vacation Fund was relaunched in January 2018 as an employer-matched vacation savings tool, and has since been adopted by at least nine Canadian organizations. Most companies are doing a 50% match on people's contribution into their vacation funds, capped at anywhere between zero and a paycheck, said Pearson. Vacation Fund makes money by charging participating companies a monthly subscription fee, which is based on the number of employees, she said. Although plan members can use their funds for any kind of travel, the company is also able to earn revenue by offering some travel deals with a select number of industry partners. While a typical rate of participation for most employee benefits programs is 50 to 60 percent, even for things like RRSP matching programs, vacation funds clients report an 80 percent opt in, said Pearson. Most benefits cater to stage of life, and this is one of the few benefits that, regardless of your age, or gender, income bracket, marital status, you're expected to take some time off during the year. That said, the program does hold particular appeal for younger workers, said Aaron Barry, CEO of Willful, a digital estate planning platform. Barry has established a vacation fund program both at Willful and a Toronto-based communications agency 88, where she was managing director. There's a big gap between the benefits companies typically offer and the values of younger employers, she said, managing a team of 14 people, all millennials, during her time at 80. 8. Barry said she thought about adding an RRSP program to the usual health and dental benefits on offer. But whenever I broached the subject with them, they just didn't seem interested in it. Most of them were under 28 years old so, the idea of RRSP savings wasn't really thrilling to them. She said, Caitlin Ward, an account manager at 88, is one of those millennial staffers. Ward recently returned from a trip to France and Italy with the money she saved through the program. I think I saved for about five months through vacation fund, said Ward. I ended up saving, with the employer contribution, about oh oh oh, which for me was huge. Living in the city, with the cost of living in Toronto, I don't usually have a lot of money in my savings account. Ward said she'll definitely use the program again. Obviously, as a young person, travel is something that I'm passionate about. It's the one thing you can spend money on that you become richer for it. Ward said she believed the program makes staff feel more engaged and acknowledged this signals that we're not a traditional office, and our employer recognized that and wanted to make sure that we were getting benefits that work for us and make us happy, so we can put out the best work that, that we can. Because a period of time must pass before staff can access the funds, the program also acts as a retention tool. Barry said the expense is nominal compared against the cost of having to hire a new employee. Internal surveying at Vacation Fund has found that some people would stay with a company an additional 12 months or more to access just OO and vacation cash, Pearson said.
Unused vacation days cost companies in a number of ways. They're associated with higher absenteeism for illness or stress leave, as well as with higher staff turnover and lower productivity. They also create a significant balance sheet liability for employers, who are then faced with the potential cost of paying out those vacations in cash. That gets particularly expensive if a company goes through downsizing and must compensate numerous departing staff at once. But the culture of a company has to clearly communicate that it's good to take a break. I've certainly seen, and heard of it, where people are afraid to take their leave, or maybe the culture of that company is one that suggests you should be working 100 hours a week in. You're a bad employee if you take time off, said Amanda Kelleher, executive vice president of People at Index Exchange, an advertising marketplace. Kelleher has worked for a number of companies that had implemented unlimited vacation policies, but for all the headlines the concept grabbed when first adopted, she said, they often don't work. It drove a lot of anxiety because no one knew what to do with that, she said. In some cases, employees actually took fewer vacation days. The key thing was to set a minimum in that helped people a lot. Kelleher recently made a number of changes at Index Exchange to ensure staff members take time off. First, she added an extra week off to the company's base vacation offerings in Canada and the United States. Then she stopped offering a partial payout of unused vacation at the end of the year, instead rolling those days over for future use. Part of a company's responsibility is to be clear on how they want to approach vacation and to talk about it with staff, she said. How empowering, if you have a less experienced individual coming to your company and you say, it's super important that you take your time off, and we actually keep an eye on this, and we're going to be encouraging you to take that time off, she said. Then it's really clear.